What up, what up, what up, what up, what up, my people? Listen, this is your boy, Chef Don Don, all right? Listen, I am here with another video, okay? Don Don, I need you guys to do a couple of things first, okay? First, I need you to make sure that you are subscribed to the channel, okay? Make sure you are subscribed to the channel and make sure you bang that notification bell. You do know only 10 to 15 percent. Yeah, I said that. 10 to 15 percent. Of our subscribers get notifications when we are live or when we upload a video so make sure you get those notifications set. and most of all y'all make sure you like this video make sure that you do like this video okay because we are about to get into some things all right we are about to get into some things so we are about to get into the hate mail well, we're getting into Real Housewives news. Let me start off there first. We're going to talk about the Real Housewives of Potomac. Robin Dixon seems to be getting some hate mail um, from, you know, fans or watchers of Real Housewives of Potomac. And then we're going to get into Garcelle Bouvet and Diana Jenkins. Allegedly, Diana Jenkins may have found who the bots were behind the harassment of Garcelle's son, Jax, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play my introduction, child, and we're going to get right into the get into the things, okay? Let's do it. of Potomac, okay? Now, Robin Dixon seems to be getting some hate mail in regards to the show. Now, listen, y'all. First, I want to start off with this. I do think that fans can go extremely, extremely too far. Do you call those people fans? I don't know what you call them, like the strength thing. I think somebody said it yesterday. These are stands, right? They're stands of different people. They have their faves on the show. And, you know, it is what it is, right? But I always feel that there is a specific way to handle these types of things. And a lot of people like to go to the internet and like to harm and harass these people. It takes you extra time to go into their DM and harass them with messages, right? We've got to stop doing that, y'all. Stop doing it. These people don't know you. And it's so crazy because we are always team somebody. And these people probably don't really even know us. Half of us, they don't know you. <laughs> so calm down. It's not that deep for you to be sending um, messages like this. It's, it's just not that deep. It's not that deep. All right. But anyway, let's get into it all. Okay. Now, this story comes from the Jasmine brand. So shout out to the Jasmine brand. So it says TV personality Robin Dixon. Okay, uh, give me just a second. Actually, I want to put this, pull this up on the screen for us. Uh, let's see him. All right. So y'all make sure y'all hit that like button as you come on in the room. As you come on in the room. Hit the like button as you come on in the room. As you come on in the room. Oh, come on. Come on in the room. <laughs> Listen, y'all, just like to have fun. 
all right y'all go ahead and hit that like button as you come on off up in here okay make sure you hit that like button period all right so let's get into this so again it seems like robin dixon has been receiving some hateful messages okay and i'm just not sure why and again in my opinion it's just not that deep okay give me a second it's just definitely not that deep all right so now again we're discussing miss robin dixon now this is coming from the jasmine brand here on instagram okay so it says tv personality robin dixon recently expressed her thoughts regarding disturbing messages sent to her directly on social media on sunday october the 30th robin dixon shared a hateful message she received from a viewer of the reality television series the real housewives of potomac the 43 year old bravo star took to instagram and posted a screenshot of the horrible message after she was targeted on the social media platform by somebody who hold her who told her that they hope that she dies the most recent episode of rhop appears to be uh, what led up to the reality star receiving threats as a cast member of the series as the ladies return to the screens for season seven the latest episode features robin dixon throwing a family fun day for her co-stars and their children but did not invite wendy ocefo wendy ocefo 38 and her three children due to an ongoing falling out that wendy and robin had okay um and the article goes on to say dixon shared a screenshot of a message from a social media user who condemned the actress for not inviting Wendy Osefo to the event after the episode aired on Sunday evening with the user ending the message, I hope you die. Dixon, a mother of two sons, captioned the screenshot. This woman hopes I die over some people that don't even know she exists. Sick. No need to harass her for her evil wishes she is unfortunately one of many i will just continue to pray for protection for me my family and my castmates who will also be harassed at some point listen again i listen the harassment it's not necessary again these people bring um their lives to this show and the the harassment is just not necessary it's not necessary at all and i really really wish and hope that we stop doing that soon because again it's it's not necessary right just watch the show enjoy the show if you don't enjoy the show you choose not to watch it just don't watch it it's just simple just don't watch it and if this type of, of behavior is done just based off of you watching the show it kind of seems like y'all don't need to be watching in no way okay Kind of seems like y'all don't need to be watching it nowhere. I'm just saying. Anywho, moving right along again, y'all, please stop the hate. Please stop the hate messages. Because then what you do is you make it not fun to watch or review anymore. Okay? So that's why we need the extra hate messages to stop. It's, it's not necessary. It's not necessary. It's not even necessary to send a bunch of hate messages, messages to Giselle or anybody on that cast for, the, for that matter, right? What we're dealing with and what we're seeing on the actual TV screen, let's just deal with it in a way where you can, you know, put out your opinions, but to harass and to actually take the time to go into someone's DM and harass them is so wild to me like how do we do that why do we do that why do we do that anyway i understand what that feels like i don't know what it feels like to be on a platform such as the real housewives but um lately you know i have been receiving some some threats and i just again y'all an opinion is an opinion and it's like assholes we all have them right so just let the opinion be and we can move on in love with the opinion right all right anyway enough about that i just want 
everyone to make sure that we're taking things in the proper steps in the way that we need to take them okay all right moving on to our Y'all, this season of The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills had been a lot, okay? And it all really started at Garcelle Bouvet's birthday party, okay? Now, if you don't know, Garcelle Bouvet um, has a specific type of culture, okay? And with that being said, uh, Garcelle had a birthday party and she had her 14-year-old twin boys there as well as her older son, Oliver, at our birthday party as well as her cast members because her birthday party was being filmed all right and this was in season 12 now later on that night um at the party um one of garcelle's co-stars erica jane um erica girardi who has actually gone through a lot of legal situations um this season kind of thing with her storyline is that she was having fun doing a lot more drinking doing a lot more outspoken things right and so she did that and when she did that a lot of people felt like well i'm gonna say garcelle felt like she was going a bit too far with the drinking right because it, it, it got to a point to where it got excessive well it really wasn't until um erica jane made a comment to garcelle bouvet's son telling him to get the f out of here right now when she told him to get the f out of here Dorit kimsley um, who is another one of the co-stars on real housewives of beverly hills was there with erica right she said that she was sick uh in her confessional i think she said she was sick to her stomach but in that particular moment all she said was well he just came to get his mommy's flowers right now garcelle is a peaceful person and i really hate for people to pin the way that we should act in regards to every situation on the way that she should act everybody is not the type of person who just going you know just pop off at the at, at the root even situation people aren't it, it's just a thing where people have character and that doesn't always happen where people just fly off at the mouth right well unfortunately this thing had just gone on too far for the entire season right well after this happened, um, there seemed to be an episode where Garcelle kind of had a conversation with Diana. And in the midst of this conversation that they were having, um, Jax, unfortunately, was, which is Garcelle's, uh, and now he's 15. They just had a birthday, I believe, like a couple weeks ago. So now he's 15. Um, but Jax at the time was 14 years old and he was harassed all up and down the social media streets, right? I mean, just completely harassed. Uh, people were saying very hurt, hurt, uh, hateful things and very racial things because he does have a white father and a black mother. And so people were just being extremely, extremely hateful. And in my opinion, it just wasn't necessary at all. Okay. So what we're going to do is we are going to get into this alleged um, article. Now, fast forwarding over to the reunion, right? The reunion, Diana Jenkins did not attend the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills reunion in person. She did attend virtually, right? The whole time, Garcelle Bouvet was just extremely upset because she felt as though um, Diana Jenkins had something to do with the bots that attacked Jax, okay? Now, this attack was not cool at all. And those of you remember and those of you that are avid fans of the show, you knew what was up, okay? Now, this article definitely comes from... Um, Radar Online, okay? This article comes from Radar Online. Give me just a second here. Let's do some, some crap in here. All right. All right. So now we can see this article from Radar Online. So it says, 
Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star Jaina Jenkins has identified a person who may be, again, all of this information is alleged. Um, and let's see here. All right. All of this information, again, is alleged. Please remember that this information is alleged. Okay. Now. Going back into this article, so it says Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star Diana Jenkins has identified a person who may be responsible for cyberbullying in Garcelle Bouvet's 14-year-old son Jack's um, radar on RadarOnline.com has learned. Earlier today, a source close to the Bosnian born entrepreneur told RadarOnline.com that after reviewing data obtained under a subpoena from Meta, Jenkins' attorney are zeroing in on a Northern California resident whose IP address and phone number were linked to an Instagram account, Queen of the T, which sent a racially offensive message to Jax in August. Okay, um, you'd, you'd have your neck kneeled on if it wasn't for your white daddy, said a message linked to an account, Queen of T. Tell your mama to leave Diana alone or we'll deal with this some of the records obtained from meta were connected to an overseas ip address a sign that uh, whoever sent them took steps to mask their identity but the queen of t account was linked to an ip address telephone number in california diana is absolutely thrilled by the news the source tells right on online she cannot wait to get concrete proof so that the person behind the attack can be identified publicly and held accountable for their conduct. Now that they have a person of interest, Jenkins lawyers plan to fire off additional subpoenas that could provide further evidence trying to, to trying the I, I, the individual to the cyber bullying. I'm sorry, tying the individual to the cyberbullying of, of Garcelle Bouvet's son. We're told Jenkins has instructed her attorneys to follow up with additional subpoenas for further com to further confirm the individual who is playing for the internet and telephone services tied to the account. As RadarOnline.com previously reported earlier this year, Diana fired filed a bombshell lawsuit seeking to uncover the identities of those responsible for the racist attacks on Instagram against Jack. She obtained permission to subpoena Meta, the company behind Instagram, for information about who was behind the accounts that posted the hateful messages. The action, uh, the action seeks to amass and hold accountable morally bankrupt person who has attacked a child and placed the blame for his or her actions on Miss Jenkins, the suit read. Diana is a humanitarian who opposes all form of hate, especially racism directed at a child. The source told Radar Online, whoever did this must and will face consequences for their actions. Okay, so basically, she's saying that per her investigation that she did have, she's saying per her investigation, she's saying that she may have been able to uncover who those bots might be. Now, please keep in mind and remember that Garcelle Bouvet did uh, let us know that she has her own investigation going on now what i will be interested um in knowing is if if and when garcelle uncovers the bots diana listen i'm sorry but your credibility is none for us right now i definitely definitely want to hear from the horse's mouth um and i mean that in the most respectful way um when it comes to this okay all right so again y'all drop down in the comment section let me know what you guys think about this and i hope that you all have a great rest of your day make sure you subscribe make sure you like and comment all right all right i'll talk to y'all later peace out